Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are new to my channel, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, the fabric sculptures and cloth dolls you see sitting behind me. I created these dolls myself and as I was sewing them child, they would not stop talking to me and this inspired my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series. And so far I have book one, two, and three. The Jungle Beauty Goddess book series is a sizzling, hot, spicy, juicy story about human evolution and the current condition of humanity. It is for adults only. My Jungle Beauty Goddess book series inspired my Jungle Beauty Goddess Oracle deck, which is based off of the personalities and characteristics of my Jungle Beauty Goddess fabric sculptures. If you are interested in making a cloth doll child, I have a plethora of free tutorials on doll making on my channel. All you need to do is click the button here. If you enjoy information about chakras, gemstones, oils, um, metaphysical knowledge, ancient wisdom, magic, welcome home darling. This is the channel where we embrace the weird and the wonderful. Thank you so much for watching. Hello, darlings. I am Cassandra. So I am inviting you guys into my crazy world. And I want you to unleash your creativity. I want you to open the gates to your creativity. And the best way to do that is to, I know this is going to sound crazy, to create a sacred vagina. What a lot of people don't understand don't know about me is that um i made the vagina at least three years before ever making a doll so i taught human sexuality for 15 years uh, and a lot of students i would tell my students if you have a question that is too embarrassing to ask in front of the class all you need to do is just put it i had like a little basket on my desk like a little box and i said okay just um leave your question in the box and I will you know address it and no one would know who asked the question so basically the number one question I received was could you please go slower when we go over the anatomy I know that people think I should know this information that I should have learned it in high school but I never learned it and they said it was embarrassing to ask those questions so I created a I made up a, a paper like a paper, it was actually made out of uh, t t uh, tissue and um, yeah, um, what kind of tissue? Anyway, it was paper and cotton and barrettes and all kind of little funny stuff. Somebody said it was uh, human sexuality meets Sesame Street, but I made it very, very um, playful and a lot of people use it to tell, talk to their kids we use like straws to create the fallopian tubes but anyway it was all my idea and I will put these packets together the night before and my very first video on YouTube was how to make create the female reproductive system and I decided to because because sometimes students would miss class and they would want or they would want to go over it again or they would want to make it you know like um, I know one person made it worked in a urologist's office because I also made the male uh, reproductive organs as well so I, my very first YouTube video was how to create the female reproductive system and I decided I wanted to fit into society that I wanted to you know I wanted you guys to or somebody to like me and think that I was a normal person so I decided to take that video down it was my video it had like at the time almost 300,000 views and it was my most viewed video but I just took it down and I didn't I don't have any footage of it that was so I just wish I had I don't know I feel I regret that because um, I don't know it was like denying a part of myself long story short I created the vagina or the and you know um three years prior to ever thinking about making a doll and once i created this i call it sacred vagina or your your divine feminine um it's just like my life unfolded in crazy ways in terms of my creativity and i just couldn't put a lid on it and throughout this video 
I'm going to take you and show you some of my crazy stuff that I have on my channel. Like the thing that I want to tell you, warn you, if you are still watching, darling, is that you do not control creativity. OK, you don't tell it what time you're going to get up or what time you're going to uh, what you're going to do and how it's going to be, because I, I promise you that you are not in control. So this is the little sacred. I'm sorry, we're going to get back to that. This is a sacred um, vagina that we're going to make. The sacred yoni vagina. Divine, I want to call it div divine feminine. And I'm going to pretty much just show you. It's not hard to make. I haven't glued anything together yet. And we're going to go over some of the things that you're going to put on the inside to make it really magical for you. But um, I just wanted to give you like a, just a quick picture here. So rule number one, keep in mind, you are not in control. If you think you are in control, then you are never going to really be creative. Whatever comes to you, do it because that's going to lead to something else. Trust me, you might, something might tell you to start making toothpicks or to start building a, <laughs> a toothpick house. Do it. Trust me. So if you, if you get an inkling to write a song or to um, whatever, just do it because it's a big puzzle that's, it's a con that continues throughout your life. Um, I did not start making things until I was in my late 40s or mid 40s. Yes, I was 45, 46. So it's been a while. Okay, it's been well over a decade. <laughs> um, prior to that, I was in school. Um, my degrees are in sociology and psychology. Very serious left brain person. Um, and I only, like I said, I only made the made this vagina it was to help my students. So I'm going to go ahead and I have a lot of stuff here. I have some roses. So, you, you know, um, because roses are for eternal beauty and love. It's really good for creativity. I have rose quartz. I have a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, I don't even, I have lavender. Guys, whatever you have in your kitchen, especially if you have some sugar, and um, just get creative. Um, whatever spices you have, like some, excuse me, some allspice, some good stuff. You know I have my good oils. I have psychic intuition. Uh, because when you are tapping into your creativity, because that's what these uh, sacred vaginas are going to do. They're going to open the gates to your creativity. You actually, so psychic intuition oil is a really good oil. This Art of the Root. I'll leave the links for you. I have my High John oil. I don't know if you guys know about High John, but basically he was a slave, ex-slave. He was a, I don't know the right word. I don't want to say he was a spiritual person who helped people escape slavery. Okay. And that he is, he is like a trickster. I don't know, but he's supposed to be this very, very powerful being. And um, I find that he works. I like to keep like the root. It's like a, I think it's cause. Yeah. Anyway, that's another story. So I have some fiery wall protection. You always want to use some type of protection for, to ward off jealousy and people taking your ideas. And it's a good thing to add. And I have King Solomon, as I said in a previous video, this is a wisdom oil. In my opinion, you know, creativity and wisdom it all goes together. So here we go. Here's my King Solomon oil by Art of the Root. And I am going to, oh my God, the, the main one. And I'm also going to use my Clarity and Creativity. Let me move it back a little bit. This is a really good oil. And this is because what we're doing, what we're going to do is open up the gates of creativity. And um, so we're going to add all of this together. So I'm not going to go in any particular order. This is a, it's a mess <laughs> as you can see here. And, um, I don't want to make a lot of excuses and not get the video out. So first, um, thing I want you to do is just see what you have. I did create a pattern for you to make these beautiful sacred vaginas and you can download it off of my authentic beauty website. I think it's going to be on the 
right hand top of the screen. I know people are used to that. So you're going to download the pattern and down and then um, you're going to trace it onto some fabric. You probably have, I'm using felt. I like felt because it's sturdy. It's sturdy and forgiving. Like, you know, it, <laughs> it allows you to make a couple mistakes, but yet it has a, it has a weight to it that I really, really like. But I also use some other fabric. So just if you have like some, uh, some old clothes, I wouldn't use a t-shirt because they're, they're too stretchy. But if you have like an old blouse or pants or anything around the house that you're not using, it's too small or whatever, just, you know, cut a piece off to use for this uh, particular project. So what we're going to do uh, first is I'm just going to take you through it step by step. And I'm going to show you how to add your oils and your herbs. Um, I have some lemon balm. I have a lot of stuff. I buy this at the store uh, close to my home. Lemon balm is good for mental clarity and for creativity, for psychic intuition. And also I have um jasmine like i just i have a bunch of things so you may not have these things oh and then i have catnip which is another good one for psychic ability and because you're the reason psychic ability is so important is because when you are creating you are coming up with ideas that do not already exist and you are bringing them into existence so you do want to reach your consciousness beyond the veil you want to you don't you know the things that are already here they don't need you to create them but the things that are looking to come down from i don't want to say you know come down from another world or from a from outer space or from the galaxies then that is what you want to be open to these are the sacred vaginas that we're going to be making today i'm so well. excited Here's another herb. So I am going to mix everything together and to put my oils in it. I'm going to wrap it in a little um, linen cloth here. And I'm going to stuff it inside my sacred vagina. And guys, you can watch me as I go. Okay, darlings. The first thing you're going to do is download the pattern from my Authentic Beauty Magazine website. And you're going to trace the pattern pieces onto a piece of felt so in here I am tra tracing the butterflies onto the felt which are going to be the labia menorah which is the uh, small lips on the sacred vagina now when you are tracing the um, the pattern especially the butterflies it's kind of hard sometimes to get in those little grooves in the wings so when you are cutting it just put a little extra move and then when you get to those to the curves on the inside so that it will have those curves because the curves is what really make it what really makes it pretty you know um when my students would make vaginas in my class i could literally look at their craftsmanship and it would tell me just so much about them like i used to, i mean i didn't want to make a big deal about it but i used to think like why are you like using all of these globs of glue and it would just look really like they just some of them now like they just didn't care and i thought you know i don't know if you've ever heard this saying before how you do one thing is how you do everything i have found that to be so true so here we are cutting out the the vestibule which is the entryway so you know like in the it's like a, in the inst the it's like the base on the inside of the vagina it's where we have like the opening and we have the urethra opening as well so we're gonna stuff this inside and I just love pink because it just gives it that that ooh la la pop of color that's kind of pretty and girly so um, you're gonna cut that out as well and it's a little bit smaller than the other piece uh, so anyway now we what we're doing is we're cutting out the labia majora which is the the large lips for the vagina so what you're going to do is you're going to cut two of those i should have um said that but yeah you're going to cut two of those onto the felt and then to the for the top piece you're going to cut the um the the little hole i mean the little triangle you see there because that is going to be the opening and you're going to cut that out and then we're going to go ahead and um, 
you know place the lace around the outside now you don't have to do this as a matter of fact I always tell people, you know, do your own thing. Do what's going to make you comfortable. Decorate it the way you want to decorate it. You don't even have to use felt. I just want to share the idea with you. Um, now, also, when you're doing the the project, I don't know about you, but you should feel something. Like I don't like you should start feeling like you're coming to life there. Like it should feel like you know. I don't know. Like it. I don't. I don't know why. Maybe it's just me, but it really works and so you know in previous societies what well, not just previous societies in the beginning of there was a time period where this was a big deal like the woman's uh, reproductive system it was honored it was cherished you know how like now we have all of these phallic symbols around well in the past there was a time where there were only female the the female um sacred vagina it was honored it was cherished and um you know women lost their position in society i read it in a book and i can't remember the name of it but she said that women lost their position in society when they started chasing men they traded the love for their children for the admiration of men it's like they started thinking like you know they didn't realize that they were the gateway that they are the gateway to life every human form that comes through this planet it comes through a woman and that we are very sacred and special beings but somehow we this ideology was twisted and women started thinking oh god you know i have flaws i'm not good enough i'm not pretty enough and so we started feeling like we had to chase men and that's when they said you know you start seeing all these women single women raising children and struggling and men not feeling committed and the whole nine so um now what i'm doing after i've cut the pieces out now if you do decide to use lace really take your time and pen it carefully because lace and felt to me they didn't know they were going to be friends you know like I don't know <laughs> sometimes when fabrics come together and they just you know you know how sometimes you put something together and it's just like oh yeah we belong together and everything works out but I found if you don't do it really carefully you'll have gaps and it won't flow so you just want to do a really good job because when you turn it inside out you just really want it to look nice and to me you know I know a lot of people when they do spiritual work and they create like um, voodoo dolls or worry dolls or spirit dolls and a lot of them they just don't look as attractive even if I was going to create a doll which I, I, I hoped I don't want to say what I would never do because I've learned don't say it because then the universe will bring me a situation so that I would have to think about it because I placed a judgment but what I was going to say is that I can't imagine myself you know making something I like to make things that I think are pretty even if I was going to do something negative which I hope I don't I hope I'm never forced to do that but um, I don't like because I, I believe that everything is alive everything is energy it's just vibrating at a different frequency and when I create something I fall in everything that I create I fall in love with it and I wanted to to be nice I want it to be at least pretty to me you know so and I think the energy that you give something it's like that's what you get that's what you get back from it you know what I mean so um I carefully placed pinned the the lace around it and the reason that the other reason I placed lace around it which I, which which is my preference which of course you don't have to do that with yours is because I feel like it 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 emphasizes it the importance of it it, it, it emphasizes that the value that this is something special this is something delicate this is something beautiful this is something to be cherished and I that's why I wanted the lace around it like it was being crowned so that was so that's that was why but there are other people who make um, felt vaginas they're all over like Pinterest you'll see and they use a blanket stitch to see look 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 how pretty that is isn't that gorgeous that is so pretty mm, it's so pretty at least to me okay at least to me look and that is the labia menorah the little butterfly i wanted to use the butterflies because butterflies represent 
um, evolution and growth. And I feel like we all go through stages, uh, the stages of life like a butterfly. But anyway, so here I am. I actually, I've never used a blanket stitch before except for here in this video. And I watched a YouTube video to learn how to do it for this video. <laughs> and I'm so happy. So I learned how to do a ladder stitch also off, off of YouTube. I love YouTube, y'all. I've learned so much from so many people. And, and that's one of the reasons I want to share. So I'm doing a blanket stitch here around the circumference of this um, sacred vagina. Vagina. Um, for somebody who just want to, you know, not use lace. And, and look, if you are at a point in your life right now where you really are looking to listen, if you are looking for love, if you are looking for a job, if you're looking for creativity, if you're looking for purpose, this, I'm telling you, we are born creators. We are, we are all born to come into this world to create our expression of our soul's evolution and i feel like you know whatever it is you want if this part of your body is not happy if it's not healthy if it's not fulfilled it, it will be reflected in everything else and that doesn't mean that you have to be in a relationship but i guarantee you it better she better be nurtured and cared for and um like you know doing like the yoni st um, steam you can do it at home and i'm actually doing doing this at home i don't know if you guys would be interested in a video on that but i have my herbs and i i bought a um like one of those little folding chairs like it just that you would take on a camping trip um that has like the hole in the seat you know and um so basically you you know there's like the, a bunch of herbs that you use you can use your own herbs um or you can buy like a, they have packets on amazon and um but i like to soak my feet and i want to do a video about that because soaking your feet in certain oils and certain um you know certain items certain it actually raises your vibration and it removes toxins from your body so creativity is really allowing your soul to express itself through your body so if you are not balanced if you um you know like if you're if you're stressed out if you you really have to allow god's energy the universe's energy divine energy divine feminine energy you have to allow that energy to come through you so before you make your vagina your sacred vagina you're going to get a brown paper bag or some parchment paper and you're going to write something that you you know whatever it is claim it in the present tense so i am so happy i am in such a wonderful relationship i am prosperous i am so successful i love people and people love me oh i forgive everybody and everybody forgive me I am having such a wonderful life. I am so prosperous. I am so wealthy. I am so successful. So I'm going to write something along those lines here. And I am going to then mix my herbs and oils and my gemstones and place all of this together. You'll see me do it in just a moment. But I want to keep my note private. So just give me a second. So I just wrote my long little note here. And I am going to tear it towards me carefully as I can so the rule is that when you want to bring something to you you tear it in the direction towards your body or bring it in the direction towards your body or fold it in the direction towards your body and if it's something that you want to remove from your life then you tear it in the opposite direction so I am tearing this and I am folding it in the direction, folding it towards me. Sorry about my ashy hands and my unpolished nails. But you know what? I'm just ready to be myself. And sometimes when I try to wait and do my nails, those videos are never done. Thank you, God. I am so grateful. Thank you. So I'm folding it towards me and I'm just being really grateful, keeping my energy nice and positive. So there we go. 
and now we're going to mix okay guys so i pour some success oil essential oil on here let me see can i get this in focus here there we go there's our success so i placed it on my little note here and i'm using a red piece of ribbon because i've heard well you know i practice feng shui but i've heard my whole life when you tie a red string around something it gives it energy so i'm tying a red ribbon around my little note here to the universe i'm gonna tie it again so here is my little thank you and i'm grateful for all the wonderful things in my life all the wonderful people in my life so here's my little note that i wrote i think that rhymed yes so now we are going to start mixing just some things together oh, this is my favorite this is my favorite okay it's my favorite because i don't know what i'm gonna do yet i don't know what i'm gonna mix i'm just gonna go ahead and let's see where should i start oh let's do some roses because roses are really good for um not just youthful beauty but for love so nice did you see so I, i'm sorry i forgot to share i get so caught up so here is like some of the roses oh my god this is my favorite oh it's, it's a camera working yes and i'm gonna put a little lavender in here because lavender is good for psychic energy and for calming you down and for opening you up well, let me give a you know just a little bit more in there because i'll do a couple and yarrow is really good for this is yarrow and this is good for let's see let me get you in focus yarrow in case anybody i don't know if they have a shop online or not because i bought this from a little shop in my home it's really good for i'm so sorry guys it's really good for mental clarity i'm sorry that i'm yawning i'm just on this crazy artist show and then I'm going to add a little lemon balm. Oh, lemon balm is good for mental clarity and psychic intuition as well. Oh, psychic intuition. I, mean, I just want to create otherworldly, otherworldly, the most beautiful soul stirring, heart touching, mind blowing art artists in the world. I want to write I want my books I claim that they are just so wonderful and the people that I touch and the art and the things that I create are just beyond <gasps> I was so excited thank you God for blessing me with this mighty gift so we have that and next I'm going to put a little catnip which is make everything a little um it's like lunar magic oh you know what it has a card too I love all of them they have like a little card and it tells you like common magical uses like well how's what i wanted darling love attraction beauty um creates a harmonious atmosphere friendship happiness um dream magic you know so here's like the little card it tells you all the things about it i need to see if they have something online i never check because i always go to the store um so next i am going to Put a little bit of that in there and here we go so and here's a toodle doop here's a toodle doop i always tell my granddaughter when she wants some of my tea do you want a toodle doop and the reason i say that is because it's not really a spoonful it's it's just i put i just allow her i put the teaspoon in my tea because i use like eight bags of tea I like my tea strong and stiff and um, I said you can only have a toodle so oh, I'm so creative I'm so intelligent I'm so blessed my life is so wonderful thank you so um I don't know why I love creative energy everybody have their thing that this is so important to them oh and here oh dandelion root this is another one that's really good anything with psychic energy like I said anything with mental clarity you you know you don't have to use everything you just 
I, matter of fact, every time I make something, I always look. Psychic abilities open. Oh, look, opens paths and opportunities, especially for communication, divination, wishes, dream magic. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I am so excited. This is dandelion root. Dandelion root, okay. I just went to my little bin and just pulled some things out because I knew I would never just get everything. This is so wonderful. Thank you, Dandelion Root. I am such a creative genius. Open up the gates of creativity. Let all these great ideas flow to me, right? Open up the gates of creativity. And let the ideas flow to me. So now I am going to, I think I have everything over here. Maybe. Yes. And now I'm going to, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit far away. I don't want to put too much. This is moss. Oh, let me show you. It smells so good. There is something super magical about moss. I don't know what it is. I know that it's magical. And if you want to make any type of... Oh my God, it smells so good. So we're going to put that in there. So I have all of my little ingredients. I have the moss. I bought the moss from Joanne. So I'm just going to mix this together. And now I'm going to add some oils to it. So, oh, I have my success oil. Thank you, God. I'm so, everything is so successful. I'm so blessed. You know, whatever you want to think to yourself or say to yourself. So I have my success oil. And then I have my attraction oil because I want to attract good things in my life, good people in my life. So I attract God and abundance of opportunities into my life. And next, I am going to put my King Solomon. Y'all know King Solomon is my favorite oil because, in my opinion, wisdom is everything. Everything. You don't need a lot. A little goes a long way. Next, I'm going to have some psychic intuition. This is a really good one because creativity is all about listening to your instincts and listening to a world beyond yourself, beyond your current reality. Oh, clarity and creativity. I think I showed you guys this earlier. I'm going to go ahead and throw some clarity and creativity in here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Get in there. there. I don't mean get in there. I'm sorry. It's so disrespectful. I'm sorry. I have to kiss it. Hi, John. Thank you, Hi, John, for being of service to people in need. I appreciate your services. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, it smells so good. Thank you. And now I'm going to add some fiery wall of protection to protect my ideas. Yes, to protect my work, to protect my energy from negative people, jealous people, envious people. Yes, and all that back, baby. Send it to love. Let them find their way. Let them find their their pathway, their confidence, their dreams, right? Let's do that. Let's wish nothing but good. Oh, God, thank you so much for my artistic creativity that is overflowing in great avalanches of abundance. I'm so grateful. Yes, thank you. So, look how pretty this is. Well, at least it's, I don't know if you can get a good shot here. Let's see if you can get it in focus. Isn't that pretty? I don't have my glasses on either. So anyway, so I mixed that up. And now what I'm going to do, I think, I, oh, I'm going to add a little jasmine. I think I would add jasmine to, yeah, I was going to say to the next batch. So otherwise I'm, yeah, this is good. A little jasmine. And now I'm going to add, oops, let's see here, I'm going to add my gemstones. Now I'm going to use some quartz, some pink quartz is always good, oh, such a good energy. See my little pink quartz, and this is a mix that I have, I'm going to do a video about this. It's a clear, oh my god, there we go. Are wonderful I'm just holding it and I'm giving myself a wish there 
There we go. I'm just gonna put one or two. I'm just gonna put it in a variety of and oh my god, this smells like guys, this smells so good. Uh -uh -uh. to do now is I'm going to take a little bit here I have like a piece of white linen cloth and I am going to ooh here I'm going to add a couple more things to it. I'm going to add a little, I have some shredded money also. So may my creative ideas bring me prosperity. And I'm just going to add it in a mix first. Forgot that I had it. Sometimes I don't, you know, I'm just being, I'm just having fun right now, guys. So, anyway, I love a good thing. Oh. Okay, nobody tell me this isn't fun, okay? Nobody can tell me this isn't fun, y'all. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, where is that note? Take this, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm just gonna open this up. Cause usually I put everything in the bag. Gemstone, and I'm just gonna fold this in like this. There we go. Ooh. And now I'm going to, you stay right there. And I'm going to take this. And guys, if you, you know what you're going to do is, if I were you, I would sleep with it or wear it, you know, at least be conscientious of it. Talk to it. Thank you for the wonderful ideas that are coming your way. So now I'm just going to go ahead and tie this together like this. Hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm just pretty much tying it all together. And oh, so now we have our little packet. Now this is what's going to make everything magical. So now I'm going to, I have some stuffing here, and I'm going to go ahead, ooh, guys, and we're going to go ahead, I want to spray this too. This is a, it raises the vibration, and I'm just going to clean it up. This is my favorite color. So we're just going to clean it up here, and I'm going to wrap this in here gotta put me a little hope I didn't make it too big nope it's actually perfect so now I'm just gonna pick the lint off a little bit see I have it in there and now what I'm going to do is take this this is my vestibule which is the floor of the the opening the whole opening area of the vagina what is that? okay and let's see so I'm going to take this I'm going to put it in here just like this Good. Nice and good. Like I said, just 
glitter. Ooh, see how pretty that is? It's almost like a little slipper. See how cute that is? Alrighty. So now, I'm gonna save this for later. I am going to go ahead and we're going to do the urethra. It's a little hole that goes right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the urethra. This little thing here. That's where the, the pee comes out. So I'm going to glue that down in a second. And then for the for the clitoris, I think I'm going to use light even though it's difficult for me to to always take a good picture I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this in here white is my favorite so I'm using like a pearl bead here and I'm gonna just this is the clitoral hood this part here glue gun. Tell them I love a good glue gun. Jesus knows Cassandra loves a good glue gun. Do to do. Do to do. Not a lot. I'll be very patient. So I'm just going to take this and stick it right under the hood. Like, you know, it can be any size, you know, remember this is art, but this is your, this is your girl, I call her Clitessa, Clitessa, if she's not happy, child, nobody's happy, alright, just gonna be honest with you, you have to honor yourself, honor your, you know, I'm, uh, you know, people accuse me of being old-fashioned, but still didn't say, look, like, you know, I'm a feminist. You know, guys. I just feel that like women are we are very special beings and we were meant to be cherished and loved and we have to learn to cherish and love ourselves and I just I don't know. The purpose of the clitoris the pur the clitoris has one purpose and that is for pleasure it is the only part of the body just for that purpose and if it's not happy and if you're not in a relationship or even with yourself or anybody where you are not feeling joy for the sake of joy creativity and everything else you will fall into find yourself in a deep dark place child so I don't want to get too deep into that right now so this is so this is the labia majora. This is the urethra where the urine comes out, right? And now this is the clitora. I like to call her clitessa. She is the queen. She is the essence of your joy and your, um, that's why she's hidden, all right? Because only the person who loves you is willing to find her, all right? Don't ever forget that. And so um, now I have your labia minora, the small lips. And we are going to place this right here. I'm gonna glue that on right there. And now we need the vaginal opening. So I like, the rose actually represents your feminine essence or your feminine goddess. So let me get on this a little bit more. So you can get these little packets of roses. They're, they're really inexpensive here. I think this maybe it was a dollar. Not not even two. <gasps> Look. Mm, I love it. Okay, I'm sorry. I get really excited when I'm doing crafts. So. so what I'm gonna do is put the labia 
a Nora? Can I just put a, a doo doo doo? Just a doo doo doo. I'll wrap it around because I don't want to mess. I do not want to mess. Mm -mm. So let me uh, just let that dry a little bit. So I can pull it. Just like so. I don't want to hurry because everything dries really fast. I hope you guys can see me. I hope I'm in focus. There we go. Yes. Mm. Yes. Okay. So now we have our labia menorah. Right. And now what we're going to do is put the vaginal opening. Just a little rose right here in the center. Mm -hmm. Put it right there. It's the entryway, the gateway to your creativity, to life on planet Earth, darling. Ooh. So let me just go ahead and push this in. Take my time. So I want it perfect. Oh my God. Is that beautiful? Tell me it's beautiful. Don't, don't, don't even try it. This is a beautiful, sacred, feminine goddess. Your sacred feminine goddess, your sacred vagina. So I am going to do one more thing. I want to put, this is the uh, perineum, which is the space between the vagina and the anus. And we're gonna, that just gives it a ooh la la. I have, I have to have ooh la la. Ooh la la to me is just that little bit of something that's kind of surprising and just over the top. My daughter always say, Ma, you're doing too much. You're just, just too much. Just, just, what's the point, you know? It's just gonna, it's gonna lead a planet. What, why? Why, why not enjoy my ride, y'all? So I'm gonna go ahead and put you right there. Ah, uh, there you are, darling. Mm -mm -mm. I love her. You might want to name her too. And you know, I was thinking about you can decorate your sacred vagina, your feminine goddess, any way you want to, darling. Um, this is just an example. The whole packing. Make sure to keep her with you for at least a full moon cycle. Oh. It, Listen, whatever ideas pop in your head, just do it. Because it's going to, like I say, it's going to lead to the next thing. I was thinking about, um, I tried a whole bunch of things, like putting decoration up here. But then it, to me, it was just, I didn't like it because it clashed with my lace. Or um, I put glitter on a pair of wings and I said, eh, I'm just kind of, I guess I, I just like her the way she is. So anyway, guys, on the next video coming out on Wednesday, we're going to do a pick a card and you're going to pick a sacred vagina and she's going to give you a message on what you need to do to bring more joy in your life. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I have some really crazy uh, clips from some of the videos that I've made in the past. And if I would love for you to stick around and just look at them um, anyway. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me on how to make this sacred vagina to open the gates to your creativity, to bring more joy into your life. So now we're coming to the end of the video. I really hope you have enjoyed creating your sacred vagina to open up your gateways to creativity. In this video, um, this is Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai and Mr. Moon Man Lover, aka Dr. Lunar M. Crater. Uh, he's a major character in my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series and I am in the process of making a new body for him. He was supposed to be a prop. I had like a lot of extra gray felt material so I just threw him together and I ended up having a dream about him coming down to visit her and it was pretty hot and steamy and I didn't even know he was a character in my dream so it seems like I'm dreaming about these beings and then they actually come into existence and I can't wait to share his new body with you guys but anyway there's there are some really cool love quotes 
over these pictures that I just, I don't know, that resonated with me. Um, leave a comment down below what you liked about the video, what you didn't like about the video. Um, I really want to see your, I don't want to say I want to see your sacred vaginas, but I'll, hey guys, I don't want to just, you know, show you all my work. I want to see your work too. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Thank you so much for watching.